When you look at the offenses tonight, particularly frustrating considering it seemed like there was a lot of solid contact and not a lot to show for it. Yeah, um, especially the first the first round the first turn through the lineup. Um, I thought we had a lot of good swings, a lot of good approaches, and nothing to show for it. Um, you know, but but after that, you know, we we're a little in and out, a little inconsistent, and uh, you know had a good opportunity there. Obviously, you know the ball kind of. Right back to the catcher and, you know, it kind of yanks the throw into a short hop into the tag. So, um, you know, still felt like, you know, we could have been a little bit better after that first turn where, where it didn't really bounce our way. But, um, you know, definitely a, a frustrating loss um, and, and one that... Uh, we got to get past here and, and then now get ready for Detroit. You mentioned that opportunity in the fifth inning. Are you okay with Glaber yeah, taking a chance absolutely. there with Stanton at the plate? Yeah, I, I mean, the ball's to the backstop, and it, it just kind of bounces perfect. And, and, and actually, the throw by the catcher, I didn't think was even a – he kind of pulls the throw, which kind of just falls right into a short hop where he's diving. So, yeah, you got to – you know – you don't want to take chances in that situation, but I think that's one of those kind of a fluky bounce there that didn't 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 go the right way. When you say after the first time through, the offense was a little bit in and out. What was it about the approach yeah. that you weren't necessarily thrilled with? Um, you know, I, I thought Lopez did a good job. First of all, mixing it up. You know, early on he didn't have his great fastball; it was clear, um, and, and we we hit some shots off him. Um, but then I thought he actually did a good job with his changeup, with his breaking ball of really changing speeds. And I thought we just had a hard time um, just really getting locked in on him and 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 stringing together a bunch of consistent at bats, which we needed to get back into that game. You know, uh, Claver stayed in the game. Is he okay? After yeah, the he's okay. He got, he got spiked on the thumb there a little bit, so more just a cut. Um, but, yeah, I think he's fine. Who else? Howie up front. Is uh, Greg Bird starting to hear the booze, so to speak, and let it get into his psyche a little bit? Uh I mean that's more of a question for him. I I think he's he's battling, he's grinding. I think he does a good job of 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 dealing with outside stuff. So, I, you know, I'm not I'm not worried about that with him. I, I just want to want him to get into a good groove, into a good place in that box because when he's right, he's really important to us and and really can be an impactful player for us. So, um, you know, I know he's grinding away behind the scenes to 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 find that you know some better at bats the last couple of days but um you know still still searching for that good groove the back right um stanton's been struggling um under 200 i believe since august 18th his last home run uh what do you see at the plate uh, that he's doing at the plate that attributes to his slump well two bullets tonight um you know I don't think he's far off. Maybe expanding a little more than he was when he was really locked in. Um, you know, has hit into a little bit of tough luck. But, um, you know, I, I kind of feel like he's close, you know. Just missed a couple balls that he hooked foul today. Um, you know, so maybe timing not perfect right now. But, but then again, you know, really squared up two balls pretty sharply today. And, um and I feel like he's missed some pitches that he's that he, over the last couple months he's been he's been smoking and that and that can happen over the course of a season. There was a game in Baltimore where you know I felt like he got some pitches to hit and just just didn't put them in play with authority. But um, I, I attribute it more to to kind of the ebb and flow of of the season and hitting. Uh, Fred to the right. Aaron, just, you know, CC, second game back from the DL. What did you see from him tonight, six inning? Yeah, I thought he was really sharp in the first inning. Um, you know, really, you know, one of his better first innings, I thought he was really crisp, attacked the zone, had a had a quick inning. And then in that second inning, um, you know, especially a couple of hitters, I think maybe with two strikes, you know, you, you could see their approach was really to try and get something out over the plate and work it the other way. I thought they did a good job of that. Maybe didn't get his cutter in on a couple of pitches. And then Lamar has been, you know, he, even early in the year, I feel like when he was with Minnesota, he's just, um, 
you know, unfortunately for us, I feel like he's had a lot of really good at bats against us, and and he turned out to be the difference tonight with with a couple of big swings. Wally, <clears throat> Aaron, how disheartening is it to lose two out of three to um, a team that's playing well now but hasn't played well most of the season at a point in, in the season where you need to win, you know, as many as you can? It's always I. I walk in there pissed off every night when we lose so it's disheartening whoever it is against you know i don't get caught up in you know the opponent and um you know we, we got to win this many against this team it's today man and we're going out and we're laying it on the line and that's the expectation and i feel like we do a really good job of that and you know in this in this game in major league baseball 162 you know, the, the bottom line is you're going to have some some bumps where you, you know, lose to a team that maybe you don't think we should lose to. And, th and that's always frustrating. And, and I think, you know, the losses stink. You know, I mean, the, there's nothing better than shaking hands at the end of the day. That's what we pour pour everything into. And But as far as who it's against, man, I don't really care. It's, it's let's get after it. And we got to get after the Tigers coming in tomorrow, period. Dave, to the left. Just, Aaron, like you, you said with Stan, I mean, with all the firepower that you're missing right now and mm -hmm. then to have him kind of a funk at the same time, is that that's kind of a lot of offense to try to, to yeah, pick but, up for its team. I mean, that, that's part of it, though. You know, I mean, good hitters, you know, that hit 280 or get on 35% of the time, you know, they're going to they're gonna go through a week where, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. So that's just the, that's Major League Baseball. That's 162 games. That's the ebb and flow of it. That's part of it. And that's why, that's why your team, that's why, you know, other guys need to pick up the slack. Other guys need to produce. That's what makes you a well-rounded quality team. And we've done a really good job of that. So we're not, even when we have guys down, um, you know, we're not, we're still not reliant on one guy or, or two guys. You know, we still count on contributions and have gotten contributions still from a number of people. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron. Mm -hmm.